uh, give you a, a show around like I do that uh, with my uh, uh, customers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come okay. For the first time. Yeah, okay. And I show Great. Them the works. So it's this is my gallery. Spin. The, the name is this spin. Spin. Yeah. Spin. That, that's a part in a, in a farm. Uh -huh. uh, the first part uh, uh, before the yeah, what's cellar? Ah, so ah, the cellar. Keep and, everything ah. fresh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, spin is the the room before uh -huh. that. So, so it's a, it's a Dutch word actually. It's a Dutch word. Ah, ah right. okay. <laughs> this is what I do. Wow. So it's just a small gallery. Wow, 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 wow. It's all, all is, uh, my, my work here. Wow. Because Jerome didn't uh, show me before. He just said that he have a very good friend. And uh, okay. yeah, that you do. Wow, so great technique. Great. I'm uh, someone who's working on the wheel. So uh -huh. everything, also when it's squared, uh -huh. also when you see animals, they are all made on, on the wheel. wheel. Wow. And uh, those are made for a uh, Korean uh, mm -hmm. bed um, It's a little bit uh, looks like Niriyagi, uh, the technique when yeah, you mix it yeah. up the clay. Yeah. But here uh, it's I not, it's a glaze. Also. No, 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 it's not a glaze. It's, uh, wow. Uh, wow, it's colored with porcelain. Yes, yes. Wow, so, great. so you can look through it. Oh. Perfect. Because, uh, so I work with uh, mixed techniques. Uh -huh. I make slabs from the uh, yeah, colored see, clay, uh, uh -huh. and then I put the slabs on the wheel, uh -huh. and on top uh -huh. I go on with uh, throwing. I have it. Yeah, when the light comes through. Yeah, the light is yeah, not, not too perfect. thick. Enough. Very beautiful. Because first I think it's a uh, It looks like a delft blue. So it's like uh, just yeah. a glaze, but the made. Uh, no, no, no. Neither yeah. or I, I, I bring uh, cobalt mm -hmm. in my cobalt, porcelain. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this porcelain mm -hmm. is the most beautiful material in the world. This is from the south of China. Wow, uh, it's, it's the De Hua. De Hua, wow. Yeah. So it's De Hua, white, white porcelain. I was invited in De Hua mm -hmm. to uh -huh. make 100 uh -huh. teapots over wow. there for a uh, solo exhibition in Shanghai. Wow, great. And I also took some, some of the porcelain clay uh -huh, by uh -huh. plane. Wow. And I still I can, have I can help with delivery if you need. <laughs> you really? I, I, I work, yeah, I work with delivery. We already bring some Deho porcelain to Russia. So I think if you bring it to Russia, yeah, material, material. So we I can talk later. I had to pay a lot for uh, just eight No pay. Kilos. First I will try, and after that we can oh. work if it's possible. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> because this, is, so, yeah. this material, but uh, uh, the minery, it's almost at the end. Ah, so it's a, not a, not a, 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 very, very much. Yeah, anymore. there is very much difference between which yeah. kind of porcelain. Yeah. You of course know that because yeah, uh, yeah there is a, like a cheaper porcelain, but it's uh, I just yeah. see that it's much much different. Yeah, it's this easy is, uh, if if you had if you have this uh, how to say this uh, uh, supplier. You know the name of who yeah. I can talk directly no, I don't know. in Chinese. I ah. was invited to ah. make but one we can talk. hundred we can try. <laughs> teapots over there. Mm -hmm. And I just did it. They gave me the best porcelain they mm -hmm. had, and this is the really uh, uh, ivory Perfect. Perfect. bone uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. china. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, which is like the white, like cream. Mm -hmm. they, they often uh, they make uh, uh, guanine status uh, yeah, using the this. Uh, the, yeah, the most. Yeah, this is another porcelain. You can see the difference in color. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. European, but this is the real Dehwa, and this this also. Mm -hmm. This is. Uh, a teapot like so you see through mm -hmm. and through yeah I see it's wow and very beautiful my specialty is mm -hmm. that I make it in one move mm -hmm. when I'm on the wheel mm -hmm. I don't uh, leave the wheel before the teapot is uh -huh. finished ah, so I, I make see. the total teapot in in wet condition uh -huh. everything together I press the spout on mm -hmm. when everything is wet. I like the wet. techniques, how you connect the uh, yeah. details. I leave uh, my fingerprints everywhere uh -huh. and I don't clean mm -hmm. afterwards. So, mm -hmm. so I make it in one, uh, in one move. So this was a big slap. Mm -hmm. And here's the connection. 
Wow, great. And I put it on the wheel mm -hmm. and, and fix I like fix you all it make it visible so. because some people want to hide it and uh, yeah. make it, but you still can see if you are specialist, you can see this the connection, yeah. especially in some EC pods. But my specialty is yeah. that I'm able to uh -huh. make it in one move. Uh -huh. And for this material in the south of China, mm -hmm. in Dohua, you had almost 20 minutes mm -hmm. to make the complete teapot. Because yeah, yeah. the material, Will dry. the water uh, sinks out in uh, 15 minutes. It's, uh -huh. it's too dry to make those fingerprints, uh, uh, it cracks and... Uh, so you also must work pretty fast, so not only just... Uh, no, it's not, not to... Uh, uh, you do not work in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. You have to be very eff uh, efficient uh -huh. with all your moves. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a production thrower, mm -hmm. so I made uh, many, many, many pots, thousands of wow. plates and thousands Great. of vessels. I worked for 80 restaurants, uh, wow. 10 years, I made for wow. 80 restaurants. All By yourself? The, yes, on my Crazy. own. Crazy. <laughs> so I made thousands and thousands of plates mm -hmm. and that was why I could work in China with this material. Mm -hmm. uh, I can work so quick. Uh, and efficient with all the moves mm -hmm. so that I can make a teapot out of a lump of clay and the, the clay doesn't know it changes into a teapot wow. then it's already passed <laughs> so that was uh, uh, in China production of course mm -hmm. is uh, done by many people mm -hmm. everyone has just a small yeah, yeah, part yeah 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 especially then we talking about uh, mechanical uh, yeah. then, then the because of yeah, but forms also throwing when yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, when yeah. people make pots on the wheel yeah, yeah, yeah. the first one make a fair, makes a very thick pot yeah 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 and the second one the next day trims it yeah, very yeah, yeah. thin yeah but it's always complete round it's mm -hmm. always symmetrical yeah 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 ideal but you like uh, a little bit more asymmetrical I, special I, form yeah that's not what i like but i like to leave my fingerprints yeah, in yeah, the clay yeah, yeah. So I was invited in the south of China uh -huh. uh, and I worked there five weeks to, to oh. make uh, 100 wow. all different teapots. Wow. And wow, wow, wow. And we make a wood firing, I see. So yes. This is a Dehoa wood firing. Yes, the, uh, wow. I wrote articles about mm -hmm. the wood firings over mm -hmm. there. And uh -huh. when I was there, there were still 240 working uh -huh. wood firing kilns. But it's it's ending because yeah, now the it's material uh, yeah, in yeah, Dohua yeah. you can fire also in electric kilns yeah. because they only want the heat in the wood firing kilns. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. do not want the reduction. Yes, the, the, need to this the effect uh, effects. The, yeah, yeah, they yeah. want it white, and then is an, an electric. It's not needed for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so in in other regions so like Isinui, uh, still wow. You see, you see all my handwriting in the in the pot. Beautiful. Yeah, and uh, these lines. Yeah, very beautiful. they are from my fingers or my tools, uh, and I, I leave all those signs. And you see, from up to down, it's everywhere the same thick. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, yes, two beautiful. two and a half millimeter. Uh -huh. And by my production mm -hmm. experience, that was exactly what I. <laughs> could do uh, uh -huh. on the wheel, just make it in one move mm -hmm. and so thin, you see here uh, how thin and this is also two layers of glaze. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh I see, I see, two layers and inside there is no inside glaze. Inside there's glaze, glaze. yeah, oh. uh, inside and outside there's glaze, mm -hmm. so it's very little portion uh, mm -hmm. between the two layers of glaze. Mm -hmm. I like the connection of uh, yeah. The, yes, is <laughs> and what I unique. like is to to play with the uh, the material, mm -hmm. and everything has to fit exactly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. like when there can no hair between. Yeah, yeah. This is this is also my perfect. love because Chinese, you know, also also they do that, especially with the yeah. uh, isin pots. Yeah. If it's like dig 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 dig, they yeah. feel like it's like yeah. mistake. It's not professional. Yeah. They call yeah. it yeah. And when uh, my uh, uh, teapots arrived mm -hmm. in the Netherlands, the mm -hmm. Dutch embassy, the, mm -hmm. the the Dutch Chinese embassy yeah. uh -huh. from the Hague, uh -huh. they opened it oh. and they showed you that can. It's not fall. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's because I made the lid heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, in the bottom, 
And also so, a small additional this uh, Yeah, kidney. not always. That's not needed for the uh, uh, what for this is needed. type of lid, yeah. This never goes out like this. Uh -huh. A lid in a teapot always when it's uh, made in the wrong way, it goes mm -hmm. like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So but then you need something here. But when you make a very sharp corner mm -hmm. and I let this go down uh -huh. a, a bit so that it fits very well in the uh, in this rim well, and then perfect. it doesn't fall. It only should fall when you go further than this, then it comes there. Uh -huh. But the teapot is already empty now, so yeah, you it's don't enough. have to because go. Because you have yeah. this, yeah. yeah. So this is just because I like it, mm -hmm. that it's going there. And so the handles also, they were in the kiln, uh, mm. uh, fired until 1350 degrees. Oh. But I know how to make a handle uh, mm. that, it, that it can stand. Mm -hmm. I like the designs also, it's very beautiful. Is yeah, it, here's is my, also... My window series. Uh, I made a window, uh -huh. uh, an opening in the pot. Uh -huh. And wow. uh, so there's a... Wow, yeah, it's great. Because most of, when you see this, uh, how here and there, that they delve blue or this cobalt, yeah. mostly it's painting yeah, yeah, yeah. or it's a glazing. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I never but this see this... Uh, Niriyagi yeah. technique or, yeah. uh, or yeah, it's the, that, that's the exactly. Chinese call yeah, it like it's, it's the yeah. same wow. the tulip so it's uh, yeah, transparent <laughs> like oh here I put it uh, this this was so thin mm -hmm. the Niriyagi technique uh, uh, so, so that I had to make another layer of white porcelain uh, just against. to protect yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and I cut away a piece to mm -hmm. make a tulip in perfect so it's not painted uh, mm. uh, well, it's uh, very interesting. I feel the first time, time I see something like that. And when uh, when I worked uh, here, uh -huh. the, my my big friend was the uh, the man who uh -huh. makes the suckers. The pots from the uh, the clay is uh, walked by the buffalo. Wow, and it's a very very traditional uh, yes. factory because and they the made the uh, the mm. suckers, mm -hmm. so they are called, and they put always three teapots mm -hmm. in the sucker. Mm -hmm. and then pile them up mm -hmm. in the kiln oh, and awesome I placed on top in the kiln uh -huh. my pots uh, because I wanted the effects of the, the dragon in the kiln yeah, uh, yeah. on my pots, the tears of the ash yeah, 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 yeah. the Chinese well, don't want that at all it's just because uh, it's um, uh, Jin De Zheng uh, or oh, De Hua, yeah, uh, Jin yeah, De Zheng yeah. also don't like but for example in yeah. Isin, Longxuan yeah. we like to see this ash and then Japanese pottery yeah, or Tai yeah, Tai yeah. Taiwan and then, and then they find it depends on the master yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. but in in, uh, in De Hua, mm -hmm. the clay has no iron in, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the ah, material yeah. so you don't have to reduce uh -huh. if you should uh, reduce uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know the word uh, yeah I know no, re re reduction yes, reduction, reduction, uh, yeah, reduction. I, know, I know I know if you use reduction the color will be the same because mm -hmm. there's no iron in mm -hmm. the material if you put in reduction the, the clay from Jing the Zen mm -hmm. it will change in color ah but it will be not so beautiful more blue ah. is white uh -huh. uh, and that's because there's iron in the material uh -huh. And when you reduce the iron, uh, put it in reduction, mm -hmm. the iron uh, changes from brown, mm -hmm. uh, yellow, into uh, ah, this gray. Color. So it's not so beautiful. Gray color, we don't like it. Uh, now this sometimes. is the real, uh, uh, this also is the real porcelain from uh, Jing de Zen. This is also your work? Yes, yes. Wow. I was invited in Jing de Zen uh, just before Corona uh. to make another 100 teapot. Project. But after that uh, story, so this corona. was ten years ago, uh -huh. and then uh, uh, two years ago, uh, mm -hmm. one and a half year ago, I was in Jing de Zen mm -hmm. and made another one one uh, hundred teapots. I also worked in a very small uh, size, which is what we we are regularly sell. This is a Chinese size because yeah. uh, then you brew yeah. tea like Gung Fu Cha style or yeah. a traditional Chinese yeah. uh, ceremony. You need to, to use yeah small pots. Yeah, great. I worked, great in a, I worked in a factory <laughs> for 10 days mm -hmm. and first I was not interested in their uh, temoku, mm -hmm, their mm -hmm. color. Uh -huh. And 
the shapes were uh, uh, made in uh, molds, mm -hmm. so they didn't work on the wheel. But after three or four days, I get more interest in their uh, glaze and their mm -hmm. pots, and then I made them by hand. So uh, I made those on the wheel. Wow, so without any their uh, molds? No, no, no molds, no. Oh. I made it totally on the wheel, Great. and they were uh, uh, flabbergasted. <laughs> so I added my technique of making those uh, cannelure, uh -huh. is the Dutch name. Mm -hmm. uh, those lines, I, I put butter on on the pot, uh, very soft uh, material like butter mm -hmm, I brought mm -hmm, up. Mm -hmm. So I added a new technique mm -hmm. to their teapots and I made a, a few one. Uh, oh, this is yeah. a blood of uh, how it's called, this uh, glaze, then it's sometimes it's more, more ready. No, the, there was a pot with copper. Ah, it just nearby. nearby. Ah, yeah. I see, I and see, I see. Flow because over. it's like celadon glaze yeah. looks like, but yeah, this is a solid celadon glaze, glaze. But there was a, a uh -huh. something in the uh, oh. in the area with copperhead. Great shape. I like yeah. it. Like sh 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 sh. so. This was their traditional form, and yeah. I I made them on the wheel, and uh, and I made some other small pots in in that factory. Very. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, very great. small ones. And I, like this is a, some uh, Chinese master uh, yeah, written. Yeah, I, I asked that. people to paint on my pots. So uh -huh. here's a complete story. I think about uh, tea, and uh, here is the. San Shui uh, It's a, this is a, the a very of famous uh, summer, winter, and uh, no, no, no. Uh, ah, chun, chun, chun. No, no, no. This is a cha. This is a tea. This is a shui water. And this is a uh, xiang. Oh. It's uh, make oh chun. I don't know. It's is a uh, aroma. Uh, this is a shu. Uh, I, oh, but okay, but okay. I'm not sure one hundred percent. But this is a. Okay. At least I know this. This yeah, is a okay, shui okay. water, and this is a cha tea. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> at least these two characters I remember. But because okay, this great. is your written. No, 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 no. It's no, Chinese. The artist from uh, uh, who did the science. Because it's a very interesting okay, style. It's for example yeah. this looks like very primitive uh, for example yes. this uh, That's sign what he was doing yeah ah especially yeah, yeah because it's interesting because not common not common uh, yeah, characters exactly. he studied yes. all kinds of uh, calligraphy uh, yes and, oh. and characters uh, characters in uh, in different times in mm -hmm. the, uh, in china mm. ah yeah yeah like uh, like traditional characters yes, and yes. yeah 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 because i see it's uh, much different than he brought me uh, also to a wall with, I think, <laughs> thousands of different ways of writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, same, the same yes, character. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 names. impossible. I I study Chinese for. He also painted <laughs> those uh, things. It's the kiln. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> a, a small tea garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. It's each each object uh, you and want to look this, at close. He did, yeah, he did this yeah, yeah. also. Uh -huh. It's also a tea house. Interesting style. It's a kind of uh, how to say primitive, uh, yeah. uh, but made specially, like specially primitive. Yeah. <laughs> With the porcelain, mm -hmm. uh, in this time now in uh, Jing de Zen, mm -hmm. it came from Thailand uh, yeah, because yeah. the uh, it's ending the uh, the the real good. Uh, porcelain from the past wow. and he also made the tigers I asked wow. him to make a wow <laughs> so <laughs> three I pots in one <laughs> I re yeah I was counting uh, to make 100 pots and this was three in, in one pot. <laughs> uh, but uh, I found the shape somewhere in uh, Jing de Zen and mm -hmm. I, th I was looking for all kinds of shapes from the mold mm -hmm. to bring them to my studio and to transform them into teapots Wow. So this was a normally vessel with a, a piece on top I cut off uh, and I made in my way uh, teapots yeah. out of it. <laughs> Often uh, it's a vessel for wine we use it uh, in oh. China, the same, the same, a little oh. bit similar shape, yeah, but but uh, not uh, the, this is a hulu whole, whole form, uh, okay. Chinese uh, pine, uh, mm, pumpkin. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe this, but uh, sometimes we just make it like that, like conus. 
and uh, also like a big uh, and uh, how this how how it's oh, called yeah, I yeah, forget yeah. yeah and uh, handle. handle big big handle and uh, we use it for wine yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you make okay. it like for tea <laughs> yeah this was Great. crazy but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So I, like I found it's... I found all kinds of shapes in mm -hmm. the in the city so here I found a square shape mm -hmm. and I took it in the cap to to my studio in mm -hmm. the rice fields and mm -hmm. I cut off the top and I cut off the bottom Mm -hmm. And I put it on the wheel, mm -hmm. the soft uh, uh, material, and I pressed uh -huh. in and, and made teapots out of those traditional mm -hmm. Chinese shapes. And I think you, perhaps you have seen this form. This is a very traditional but Chinese form. This is a waist, form, actually. And there's normally a piece on top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah. a vessel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I cut off and I cut off the bottom. And wow. I reshaped it into a teapot, and with the bamboo maker, I went into the wood. I love it. I love it because and it's it's left, great left that you just take pieces traditional uh, yeah. for our, our forms. You yeah. just transfer the teapots. Yes, it's uh, I something to new. make an exchange. Yeah, yeah. It's and uh, you see it's the same uh, this, this the pot. Same shape. There's yeah. uh, this this one was just the top part. Ah, so you see, it's the same. I see. Same I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, yes, yeah, so it's originally came from. And here from... I made a painting myself. Uh -huh. uh, it's like, like, you know, it's a the Zen uh, yeah. character, yeah. Dao. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, Dao. Yeah. Dao. Dao, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's uh, it's so uh, easiest uh, you to... See, you see, it's just the top of, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. of that pot. And my first time when I uh, was invited uh, uh, by Delft to mm -hmm. go to uh, Jing de Zen, mm -hmm. I made those uh, too. And mm -hmm. I also uh, took the vessels from their molds, the, mm -hmm. the squared one is, is from the molds in China. Mm -hmm. And I left the, uh, the marks mm -hmm. of the mold. Mm -hmm. I didn't move. Uh, but you changed like, the up. And I up, changed so, yeah, yeah. it into uh, a teapot. And you see the difference in color yeah. of the powering clay yeah, from yeah, the yeah. molds. This the same as yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the, 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 the clay same. that you added. And the uh, clay I, I made on yeah, top. Yeah. And because they opened the kiln uh, a bit too early, mm -hmm. there are a few iron spots on, on my teapot, but it's But I think problem. it's good, it's natural. So here you see the marks of the mold. Mm -hmm. I left in the, in the shape mm -hmm. so that you can see mm -hmm. I mixed the techniques of China oh. with my techniques. Oh. So this is made by someone in Jing de Zen mm -hmm. in a mold. And I pressed in to show, well, it was still soft mm -hmm. when I had it. I, I took soft pots in the cab, mm -hmm. in the taxi, mm -hmm. to, to my studio. Uh, in the and I asked other people in the taxi to have soft pots on their knees. <laughs> and <laughs> wow. I transformed them. So also here. Wow, wow, wow. Those, wow, those three pots. A... This is a, the, the, I reshaped the, yeah. their, their pots into teapots. <laughs> Great. Wow, well, I just saw, seen that this is a exhibition. Uh, yeah, uh, that was the first time that I made 100 teapots. Uh, it was a sponsoring object in the uh -huh, Netherlands. Uh -huh. I sponsored an opera, uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. and I made 100 teapots and they were sold by auction. Uh -huh. And the uh, former queen, Queen Beatrix, oh, was, I see, I see. Uh, wow. Uh, uh, Sorry. Uh, uh, invited to be uh, at the project. Uh, wow. So I painted the first teapot, it's here, from mm -hmm. the project and mm -hmm. uh, the Queen was there. She, uh, she was asked to paint the first pot, but at the last moment it was, uh, I had to do it myself. And 100 people painted, everyone painted one pot. Wow. And the money uh, from the auction was for the, for the opera. Oh, I see. And great project. It was great. And when uh, this picture was uh, published also in America, in the uh, magazine for ceramists and oh. all over the world, and when they saw in China mm -hmm. the movie and the picture, they asked me to do the ah, same yeah, yeah, with yeah. their... Because great concept, we just yeah. like the concept. And it's in China it's normal to see a 100 teapot exhibition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But 
the, uh, it's always done by 100 artists. Oh, yeah, and yeah. now they had a 100 teapot exhibition just yeah. done by one artist. So that was special in China yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I love this. Uh, each object uh, is the one you want to close, uh, have a closer look. It's, it's, it's a great for tea storage, from, from, my, from my view. It's like to store yeah. the tea. Uh, and, and I was the, the first time I went to China was <laughs> by, uh, uh, to be uh, a part of an exhibition uh, for the teapot of the year. Ah. So this was my, uh, my wow. mouse or a red <laughs> teapot. This is the lid and this is the spout. Uh, wow, so wow, I wow. made teapots in the shape of the pig and the tiger. So this is the technique you saw mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. here with the... Uh, here you can see very good the uh, the slab. Oh, I put it in the light. Wow. You can look through this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See. This was the material from I think from the Hua. Very beautiful. I, I love like you often use the spiral. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's very beautiful uh, shape and uh, yeah, like spirals. Yeah, I don't, don't like to uh, to move uh, to remove. Uh, mm -hmm. All the, the the signs from my hands mm -hmm. and my, my tools. So it's it's very uh, natural and also because so here you yeah. see the first combination from yeah. a slab yeah, 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 on yeah. A, a piece that I've thrown. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, movies uh, on YouTube mm -hmm. where I show this technique. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. made it fairly thin mm -hmm. and I put the layers. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are so thin, like uh, uh, stretch uh, uh, plastic mm -hmm. that you use in the kitchen. Ah, yeah, so yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. It was hanging against the plastic, and wow. I put it like a poster wow. on top of the pot. Uh, so ah, this is why we see this. Uh, yeah, kind you of, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it stops. You can uh -huh. see the slab was not bigger than this, uh -huh. so the white pot comes under. So it's no painting. It's just this. But mm -hmm. then, much more thinner, mm -hmm. and I fixed it on top. Great. Mm. So here, the uh, I I bought vegetables in China, uh -huh. and I made. Yeah, uh, I remember this cabbage. This is a special, yeah. very bitter, bitter, very bitter. Very yeah, bitter, I like yeah. it. But Chinese like it. It's, yeah, it's they, very they, good health. Yeah. health. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I just seen that and I didn't remind what is it and yeah. you told me I just remind the yeah. Chinese kitchen. I bought kitchen. it on the market and mm -hmm. uh, I asked someone to make a mold uh, mm -hmm. out of it and uh, I made teapots, I reshaped it into teapots and a piece of the bamboo and mm -hmm. I also had a Chinese uh, coal, uh, cabbage, mm -hmm. a Chinese cabbage and I made a mold from it, but they are salt. I cannot show mm. it now. Only this one is great, <laughs> and it's yeah. I fixed it with uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just to didn't yeah. someone accidentally break, take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If someone who didn't uh, interact with a so small before, object before, of course can, you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, recognizable. Here is um, also a colored porcelain. This uh, blue. Yeah, this is porcelain, and I put uh, cobalt uh -huh. on and move. Uh, Took uh -huh. it away with a sponge. Oh, great! I really like it. It's, it's because the shape of the bamboo. Uh -huh. That wasn't the idea. The, uh, a part of a bamboo uh, piece. Here you see the bamboo also. Mm -hmm. But the idea was to make uh, so. So the bamboo has normally all those parts on top of each other. You see. Oh, so it's like a part of a segment of bamboo. A segment yeah. of the yes mm -hmm. of the bamboo. All oh, this shape is beautiful. But oh, it's uh, when you in, in China we we call it very big teapot <laughs> because this it's uh, for Chinese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you 
and put we brew tea very fast yeah. Yeah. you just put yeah. a, a small yeah. a big amount of tea yeah. in small vessel and didn't yeah. wait you just immediately yes. when, when, ten, pour people, it. when yeah. 10 people come in in china yeah. They, yeah. they make a teapot yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 and in uh, in a quarter of an hour uh -huh. you drink uh, uh, many of those small cups uh -huh. and you are uh, yeah 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 this is what we are doing actually yeah. wow wow great i just seen that yeah, this I made wow. with all the artists together, the, uh -huh. the one who made in the molds, mm -hmm. parts, and I put them on the wheel mm -hmm. to combine with wheel throwing. Mm -hmm. So we uh, transformed each other's uh, 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 work. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We were still working, uh, I did a piece and give it to her, and wow. she did a piece and then give it to me, I did another piece. I see, I see that here, Vanille. Yeah. I feel like three, four, absolutely. Yeah. different techniques in yeah. one piece yeah great it was my idea to uh -huh. combine her techniques with my techniques on the wheel so uh -huh. we started with a mandarin wow and it i looks placed pretty it pretty erotic <laughs> yeah i placed it on the wheel yeah yeah Oh, I never saw it like yeah. that. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, so yeah. I'm the spoiler. And then the and then the uh, the insects uh, she was painting insects uh -huh. so it was was great to uh, for her it was also surprising mm. that her pieces came together in tableware yeah 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 it's oh it's very beautiful and yeah, this one i liked very much also wow. the uh, so. avocado a small oh. small one and i made it uh, yeah into uh, something to drink mm -hmm. wow yeah very interesting and they just when you see from look from here it didn't uh, keep attention on any object so it just yeah. uh, needs some time yeah. but then so you, you look close the look you see yes. any oh, small yeah, detail uh, then i found out on the wheel i can also put this beside the middle uh -huh. it was just playing this was a abrikos abrikos apricot yeah. apricot yeah in russian it says uh, abrikos Oh yeah. In Dutch Same also? As, yeah. Abrikos? Abrikos. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's so really clever. Are, in Abrikos we are the same. The same, yeah. And here was yeah, part of a, uh, a tree. Uh, bark of a tree. Yeah. Uh, wow. And here I cut in, in two pieces her piece of the tree. I cut it and I, I on the wheel I made a part between and the part on top. And then wow. I gave it to her to make the uh, the handles. and. Uh, Great. So both we should not make a thing like this but it was by the combination that this came out i, like, I love this teapot it's also like yeah he's, he's the great handle and the, yeah yeah and, and i'm, and I'm the mandarin the, and the i'm bark. a specialist in making the handles so i did this part <laughs> yeah. and the top uh, it's something and, uh, which i really this like was that a, each this was a carrot ah i see i see wow yeah the shape is unique absolutely <laughs> And how it's uh, really? Oh yeah, I see. So it's. Yeah, I'll, I always so make s a small holes mm -hmm. for the for the leaves. Yeah, yeah. So it's good for use, not also because some no, masters it's, just it's make it for appearance, but not uh, focus no, on like, the usability. I like everything uh, to make it uh, uh, as real tableware. Uh -huh. After when I I've done everything with it, it mm -hmm. has to be perfect in the yeah. end. Yeah, it's. It's nice to show this one. Uh huh. Uh, I made a, a pot mm -hmm. and I hid it with a stick mm -hmm. uh, that I dipped in uh, uh, black clay. Mm -hmm. So the total pot goes down. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then I took it, turned it upside down. Ah, you wait while it's a little bit. I, wow. I did this. So and we grow again. And this is how we see this uh, picture because yes, of the stick. And then, then wow. the pot uh, uh, came in the in the shape again. Uh -huh. And then I put a heater uh, uh -huh. on to make it a little bit wow. stiff and turned it back. And what I want is in the end that I've done everything you cannot do with uh, porcelain. And mm -hmm. in the end it has to fit and to uh, to work perfect. Great. So, so that's yeah so the 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 color here is an addition uh, mm -hmm. by by the hit with the stick dipped uh, it, it was yeah mm -hmm. fabulous pattern very beautiful and on that pot you use the same uh, yeah. uh, for oh. the, this one you use the same technique like yes. Nidiyagi, just yes. different yes, it's, uh, it's the same different like color ones, yes. is i used the clay from there 
and uh, so it's also inside and outside uh, wow. the same. And because of the shrinking of the mm -hmm. two materials is different, uh -huh. I got also those uh, bits. Uh, bubbles. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's still it okay, belongs goes. to this pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's great. All the teapots I give names. Uh, mm -hmm. The one hundred, they all have a name. Mm -hmm. And which name has this one? I think this one was uh, uh, the, uh, not the ocean, but uh, lagoon. Lagoon. Ah, it's yeah. When you see, especially when you look on the lagoon from the yeah. air, from yeah. the drone, for example, yeah. you see this uh, yeah. shapes and of this was the my, sand. My uh, mellow series. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, there are more in the mellow series, and this mm. was lagoon. Very beautiful. Because I was making five weeks only teapots uh, <laughs> five weeks i was uh, it was very cold it was mm -hmm. raining it was f almost freezing there and uh, i worked from from seven in the morning until mm -hmm. uh, 11 or 12 because uh, the chinese also ch they changed every day the plan ah yeah yeah for uh, today we want to oh no no in we two will. weeks in two <laughs> weeks i arrived and then they said uh, First they said, well, we have exhibition when you are finished, 100 teapot exhibition. Wow. And when I arrived, they said, yes, but we have a preview exhibition yeah. in two weeks <laughs> in Doha. <laughs> and there will come master teapot makers from I Ching. Oh, I Ching. I Ching. I Ching. Oh, yeah, which is uh, one of the and capitals. I have just two weeks to <laughs> make. Well, I guess, <laughs> yeah, it's out of a material yeah. in the books they say you cannot throw this material on the wheel because oh. normally they make it thick uh -huh. and the next day the trimmer comes and makes it thin ah. I have wow. to get used to <laughs> and also you need to do some artwork not just but the same yes. copy of the copy so you need to have an idea the, after first the first week mm -hmm. uh, when it ended mm -hmm. I had a feeling this is not to do. I'm, I'm going mad. <laughs> Only sitting inside on the wheel. But after a week, I was in the flow. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Just I was dreaming teapots. Wow. And, uh, uh, and the material mm -hmm. was asking. You just oh, connected with. Uh, please, please <laughs> do the, also some, some uh, uh, things like I can show here. Uh -huh. It was. Wow! It was. It's like snow. It was, yeah, it was working with white, uh -huh. but I found out that when I make sharp lines, this material was able to do that. When I make sharp lines in it, I was working with shadow. Mm -hmm. My handwriting was just uh, making the white portion from white into black uh -huh. by shadow. That's great. And so in this teapot, yeah, 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 I see. It's complete white. But my handwriting makes it different colors white. I see, I you see. see. Yeah. And that was what, what I was dreaming to, to You put the light it. from different it, it sides. It was like and butter. Yes. It was like butter to to uh, to split uh -huh. the, the layers. Yeah. And it it stays like that. And normally, if you do it in porcelain mm -hmm. to make those lines, it it cracks. It's mm. it's too. Two big uh, molecules. Ah, yeah, I see. I and see. This was so. Uh, this material. Because of the quality of material. Oh, yeah. My yeah. nails, after one week, they were like uh, lacquer. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiny. Polished, polished, polished. Yeah, yeah. complete. I <laughs> never had with porcelain. So this is the teapot. Is when the west wind moves. It's oh. a part of a song of sting. Uh -huh. So I saw the wind and the, oh. the clouds. Oh, beautiful. And Especially like this one, of course. Yeah, the yeah. is like a small, the small tree yeah. here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's this, like, it's like, this like was my mellow series. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's like uh, uh, Siberia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Snow, snow, eternal yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, something. Yeah, here you see the connection. This uh -huh. was a slab. Uh -huh. Oh, I had two connections here, but this part is very beautiful. Yeah, I've never seen the tree there, but now I see it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can show oh, some. Yeah, great. <laughs> it's like a tree, and also some trees. Like uh, then, it's yeah. uh, you know, it's a yeah, yeah, snow yeah. valley, oh, and great, in in great. the end, you see more tree. I it's like a forest. A name. Yeah, <laughs> Siberian forest. So, yeah, <laughs> Why course, not? Yeah. So and here was a teapot with a. Wow, with a cup. A great. 
it's lead, but you can use it as a cup. So it's yeah, like so it, yeah. has an extra lead. Mm -hmm. And I found out the the form of the the shape of this handle. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it more. Also here you see it. And here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when when you are making one hundred different teapots, I found that I also have to think about one hundred knots and uh -huh. 100 spouts and 100 handles that I do not make on all the teapots my normally handle. <laughs> so I had to look at every pot very well to make a handle that, that was a good combination yeah, with yeah, the yeah. pot. Fit this pot. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes it took took very much time to find just a, a button. Oh here yeah, this, this is a nice one too. Mm -hmm. I made what a I pot in this shape. Uh -huh. And then I put it on the uh, on the bottom part, uh -huh. and this one is my uh, Mrs. Peacock. Wow, great! What it's I love, what I feel, the connection between uh, the Chinese tradition and Chinese shapes. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, something which I see that your inspiration uh, with yeah. some Chinese techniques and uh, uh, shapes, but also you put a lot of your own feeling yeah. and your own. But my techniques yeah. fits so very good uh, in the yeah. Far East, uh -huh. the way of uh, working Zhou, with clay. Zhou, and, Zhou. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Zhou, Zhou, you take a Chinese word, Zhou, or...? No, no, no. No, no but the way I uh, work with clay, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's so uh, a Asian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's... <laughs> you, this one uh, you saw uh, here, yeah. I combined. I made uh -huh. a combination of the clay Which from the, uh, the buffalo, the uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. so there the buffalo shit is in, <laughs> yeah, great. and they did everything in this clay, so this is the lowest of the lowest material, and the highest, and, the yep. highest. and I wanted to make a combination uh, with it, mm -hmm. and the color was so nice gold. But the shrinking you see is very different from the shrinking of yeah, the yeah, porcelain. Yeah. But this but shrinking often used as a decoration in China. You maybe see some yeah. objects and you just yeah. specially made like that. So it's okay. wow. Yeah, this, this one, uh, the inspiration mm -hmm. of, of this is the, uh, ah, the Sagar. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I used the idea of the Sagar where they put uh, the teapots in, mm -hmm. and it started with this one. Mm -hmm. This was my uh, sagar, and I combined the clay from the sagars mm -hmm. here wow. with the porcelain. So I made slabs, and of of course the uh, the shrinking. Yeah, because it's different uh, material yeah. when you just combine two absolutely it. I different. I loved it. And yeah, it so And those pots show how how thin the. I will put it on under the light. Yeah. yeah. And you can see the wow, and Beautiful. this is made on the wheel. Beautiful. <laughs> this material was so amazing. And this is also still glazed, yeah, just yeah, the right transparent glaze. Glazed two sides, and uh -huh. so so less uh, material in mm -hmm. uh, in this. Mm -hmm. So I made a foot ring. Mm -hmm. And when it's wet, I put a, mm -hmm. uh, the cup on top of the wet ring, and uh -huh. it's, it's just in one move done. So you it's use it like a regular transparent glaze, just to yeah, just a transparent, yeah. and and also on top of this. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this is my uh, the one, the big one is lamp of the rising sun. Uh -huh. it's, it's also the the mix of the. Porcelain uh -huh. from the the buffaloes, <laughs> and I call this one. It was, this was a big one in a strange shape, and I called it Land of the Rising Sun. <laughs> yeah, I made it in Jing the Zen. Uh -huh. So this was the, the curtain of my uh -huh. uh, my uh, uh, room, my bedroom. Uh -huh. so this is like a curtain, and there's and then <laughs> and and it's open, and I look in the garden and see the tigers. Wow, great idea. This was the same idea, the, the curtains mm -hmm. and the bridge. Very beautiful.
This is a from, it from that collection. This was the first one with the the layers uh, uh -huh. not painted, mm -hmm. but in and out uh, the same. So it was just a slab. A little bit looks like that uh, Siberian forest uh, yeah. style. <laughs> yeah. yeah, from the same bunch. Yeah, from the same bunch. Then that that yeah. Was, yeah. Uh -huh. the same ID. <laughs> same ID. And this was also with a cup. <laughs> Great. Like flowers. Uh, I like this uh, shape of a cup. And also, yeah, it's. But to me, it's also a little bit uh, the Klu Klux Klan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this, this one. This was a beautiful one. The, wow. It looks a little bit like uh, an elephant to yeah. me. Uh, so, so. Dumbo. I like all the spirals, uh, very yeah. interesting. These cups. Yeah, that was the first that I mixed the clay, it's very yeah. thick. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I made some teapots mm -hmm. with the, the same techniques. The buffalo uh, uh, walked ah. the clay. Then they asked me to come back to make 100 teapots in my style. Ah. They saw the movie and wow. all kinds of people. This is a, it's not mine. but also, it's really a, a, but this is a, a print. German. Looks like not. It's great. It's double wall, uh, ah, double uh, uh, double layer, double uh -huh. yeah, uh, with air between. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did you do it's that? Great, yeah. Ah, there is a small uh, yeah. Yeah. because yeah. Uh, yeah because it's if not it will be cracked. Yeah. But this, the technique from the outside is the same. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a slab. Ah, it's a slab. Yeah. But this very looks like a, it's uh, printed, <laughs> but not. No, 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 no. It's uh, uh, the nirikami. Nirikami uh, also uh -huh. technique. Yeah. Oh, this is easy. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, so funny. It's uh, I can spend time eternally near uh, ceramics <laughs> because yeah, it's yeah, yeah. wow, 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 wow. This is a uh, yeah. This is a uh, pumpkin. This is from Peru. It's wow! Wood. It's wood. It's wood, not a pumpkin. Yeah. It looks like a pumpkin. Oh, it's dried pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah wow. Yeah, yeah, the seed is still in. So delicate work. Yeah, it's crazy. I never know that Piran do so thin thing. Wow, carving. Yeah, it's, it's Great. amazing. This perfect work. And a friend of mine in uh, Amsterdam, she's making this now in. Uh, uh, it's the the bonsai, mm -hmm. and oh. together. <laughs> Great, and when you open it, you see the yeah. roots. Wow! And she made eight series. Now she's Chinese from Jing de Zen, but ah, she, she did and she this. she lives in Amsterdam. Yeah, and wow. she did this in. Uh, she let them make in uh, um, Jing de Zen this one, mm -hmm. and now she is in uh, Dupa, and there they make. Uh, uh, wow. Great idea. This is the tulip uh, as a bonsai, the wow. bonsai tulip. So, so they are just uh, coffee cups. Mm -hmm. So she sh shaped them, and she's making another series now, also for uh, small restaurants and mm -hmm. coffee houses or tea houses. And yes, she interesting is. idea. Yeah. Uh, ah, Libo, Libo Li. Uh -huh. uh, Lee is her back name, and ah, Libo. Li -Libo. Lily Bow, yeah, uh -huh. that's her, uh, and she has now the uh, eight uh, types. Types, yeah. Great idea. Piece of bamboo. Yeah, yeah. I like this one. It's a, uh, it uh, was in a kiln. Yeah, it's uh, like a kind of uh, too high temperature or, or what? Yeah, or it's uh, or it's uh, specially made. Yeah, it's specially made for this. Wow. She makes uh, also wider pieces with mm -hmm. a small hole in. Mm -hmm. And this is porcelain that cracked uh, in the firing. Crazy. Yeah. That's great. It looks like... Uh, and it also can be used for tea. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Not for tea, perhaps, but... <laughs> anyway, yeah. Wow. This is actually this, the studio. I call it the and kitchen. <laughs> smaller electric kilns. Uh -huh. but I, I use normally the, the gas kiln. Uh -huh. oh, this is the, uh, the tulip vessel, uh, the corona. Wow, wow, <laughs> great idea. It's good, I eh? See. 
with tulips it's uh, it's amazing it became a little bit more positive than yeah, negative it's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah wow great i asked on the uh, a public is this is this positive or negative what do you think <laughs> and then, yeah then there's a yeah it's positive <laughs> I think it's good to joke about that because so many people stressed, yeah, yeah. so many people... <laughs> I hope here uh, this one will come on a, on a table uh, in a television program, I send it, oh. uh, where they do the talk about uh, corona, the corona. Oh. but uh, the time has to, to change into positive time Posi before ah, so they use it. So in, uh, when I uh, arrive back from the China mm -hmm. uh, teapot uh, project, mm -hmm. I had the idea I have to do it once also in the techniques of Delft. Uh -huh. So I uh, went to the factory and uh -huh. uh, the, uh, the owner was very enthusiastic mm -hmm. and he said you can use all our molds and all our uh, 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 material mm -hmm. and I made 100 teapots in the factory in Delft. Wow, but, so but bigger used, ones, yeah? Yeah, also smaller ones you mm -hmm. will see in the mm -hmm. other room. So I used the molds, the, the traditional forms. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I uh, transformed them into teapots. Oh. They were never Delft never made teapots for use because the material is soft uh -huh. and uh, uh, yeah, it's Delft. Be before, before it was a kind of vases, yeah. So it was a Delft vases or other vessels, but you transformed the molds to the pots. Yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you see here. Uh -huh. Normally, uh, the the vessel is in this position, mm -hmm. but here I put it upside down. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, you see, you turn around. And I decorated it like it is broken, uh -huh, uh, as uh -huh, if uh -huh. it is broken. And I asked the people in the factory to paint the uh, the traditional flowers. So there are small parts with the flowers. Mm -hmm. Here you see a part, yeah, I see. and here in this side. And also by different... Uh, different and I did uh, the yeah. other uh, parts Ornaments, yeah. in, with their material. But the flowers, on this one you can see it very good. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. found a handle so that you can see the, uh, the painting very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see the vessel is upside down now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then oh. I needed uh, a very big one uh, to decorate by two mayors uh, for uh -huh. the opening and this is the normal uh, a pot but this is a great a idea you can really use it uh, just yeah. fire yeah. because it's a uh, pottery so it Chinese can be Chinese idea yeah 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 a big piece for the firing yeah. and a small uh, pot on top so this is the the lid of the mm -hmm. the vessel normally it's yeah it's an ornament piece mm -hmm. To put on a cupboard mm -hmm. and now i made from the lid part i made the teapot mm -hmm. and from the bottom part the uh, how do you call it stove yeah stove stove, stove. for stove yeah. for the tea so we, for, we so usually I opened yeah yeah, yeah. usually uh, th th that pots are uh, the bigger teapots in china use it for water not for tea brewing yeah, yeah but yeah, you yeah. heat up yeah. heat up the water yeah. on the stoves yeah. and you use it for uh, tea <laughs> So it's a very good idea. I never, yeah. never, I never seen it. Uh, this kind of transformation. No, I also <laughs> never saw it. <laughs> it's great. But I needed a big one for two mayors to decorate. So uh -huh. two mayors uh, in Corona time, uh -huh. Uh -huh. they needed a, a distance, mm -hmm. and we, uh, I give them both a, a spoon, a mm -hmm. very long spoon, mm -hmm. to put the blue on top of the pot uh -huh. over the, uh, yeah, to decorate great. it. Great idea would be a nice one to sh to uh, to put on, uh, as a showing piece in a in a, a shop for tea why not great we open to it <laughs> it's a good <laughs> idea <laughs> wow you have so many tables so you sometimes maybe make kind of workshops for local people no, or no, 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 or you no, want to work alone I, uh, Sometimes I give lessons for uh, for people from uh, uh, everywhere, uh, uh -huh. experienced people, mm -hmm. uh, to do some teapots. Ah, um, yeah, yeah, just a cultural exchange with other. Mostly, master. I'm invited in uh, in other countries. Sometimes I have the uh, the turning tables in use here, but for myself, I use three, three mm -hmm. or four uh, turning tables. Sometimes I mix. Uh -huh. uh, I make the start of a pot on one uh -huh. table and on another one. And you the continue on the next one. And then uh -huh. Combine. And for the porcelain part, I have another uh, wheel. 
uh -huh. so that I don't have to clean every, <laughs> everything every time. So here's a small shop. Uh -huh. Mind to do a step there. Yeah, okay. Oh, here, great. Here are some extra in the Delft blue. Oh. So I made 100 teapots in that style. Here you see the uh, the, the uh, top of the Yeah, yeah I remember that one. shape. Uh -huh. And I asked uh, the people in the factory if they could paint very small pieces. So this yeah. was the smallest flower ah, I see. they I made. See. Yeah, that was fun. To me, it's a ballerina, this one. <laughs> and this was the tea caddy. Mm -hmm normally in the factory so there had to be a big lid here on top and i transformed the the tea caddy into a teapot oh. so this is my way of painting uh -huh. this is uh in china they call it uh, gu hua uh, it's kind of uh, uh like a big uh, uh, big uh, brushes you use it or yeah. or or big like like uh, i don't know how it's called it drops yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, this is kind of a style, but yeah. you have a something, uh, uh, something unique <laughs> with your own yeah. feeling on this. Yeah, it's my way of uh, uh, decorating is always with uh, the dots and the, yeah, yeah, the lines dots. between. Yeah. And so I made, uh, this one is a nice one. Yes, it's uh, Delft blue. Yeah. Yes, so this yes, is the Delft blue. Yeah, 50, yeah. 50 times Delft blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I did it like uh, it's uh, the tea leaves are, are going oh, down. I see, I see, I see. Wow, great idea. So, yeah, up and then, then it's uh, done, it's get, yeah. get to the bottom. Yeah. Wow, great. <laughs> Delft, wow. So, and, and these mm -hmm. things are, 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 I like. Mm -hmm. To, to play with the clay and then mm -hmm. to, to fold it together. And so this also, this was a, this was a vessel. And mm -hmm. normally in uh, Delft, it stays like this. Uh -huh. So this is the, the top part. <laughs> and just... I cut off the bottom part here. Mm -hmm. And I turned it upside down and made a teapot of it. And then I asked the painter just to paint this part. Mm -hmm. I only asked them to paint the traditional flowers. Mm -hmm. So the rest I did myself, but small parts are painted in the factory. And here is a tea caddy, it's also nice to show. Uh, I asked them to paint the, the flowers like if I dripped them mm -hmm. so that it... Uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I, like see, I, I put my glaze on the, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. pot. And now it's glazed with flowers in. Okay. I like how you it's interact nice. with the uh, uh, original uh, shapes. Yeah. And how do you transform it to something else? It's uh, very interesting. Well, this was very nice, but but it was also very difficult because the uh, the shapes, of the molds, with yeah, yeah. all those lines, they were very uh, dwingend. Uh, uh, just going in one way. Ah, yeah, yeah. Always yeah. the same uh, pattern. You, you need to make then, uh, something. Uh, yeah, leave, and then uh, to, 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 uh, it's like in a prison. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then yeah. to get free, to make 100 different teapots <laughs> with those basic shapes was, oh, uh, it was thinking a lot about uh, how to transform how to it escape, to something and escape. escape on that. Yeah. Here I made, like you can look in the, in the pot and see through the windows mm -hmm. the, the the tea uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The steam and the ah, like I windows see, in the ship wow. that you see in the uh, wow great idea <laughs> so I cut pieces in the form away mm -hmm. that you see the the water uh, in the tea behind the windows but here I used a, a, a decal. Mm -hmm. Wow, what is it? So it's 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 it can be opened. It's kind of yeah, it's, storage. It's, no, it's it's a, a statue for a cow. Wow, but the it's inside just is hollow a... and, uh, and there's a hole uh, in the bottom. So wow. but this is a kind a of a storage for, a for something. Or? No, no, no. It's a, it's a pillar to ah. just to look at. <laughs> I I am from Amsterdam mm -hmm. and fell in love uh, mm -hmm. to Wim uh -huh, yeah. and he to me. Yeah. 
uh, and then I moved from Amsterdam to here and in Amsterdam I had made on the wheel women statues uh-huh. and then when I arrived here we have cows and I thought I have to make a cow <laughs> and when I made the first cow I thought well a cow is a cattle animal uh-huh. so I need to make a total cattle so I counted in the stable mm-hmm. all the places and it was in one side was 25 so I made 25 cows <laughs> on statues mm-hmm. uh, for every cow normally in stable a statue Great. and I placed them in the stable and it was a very nice exhibition so uh, this one is very beautiful I like this this most. is uh, uh, the bull yeah bull yeah because <laughs> she is like <laughs> yeah and uh, those statues I made all kinds of statues with mm. things that uh, are telling about cows so i have statue of ten cheeses mm. and ah, ten here, cheeses. Yeah, yeah ten cheeses and here you see the the bottom uh, the layers in the bottom mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, I of see. our uh, our field wow yeah, yeah. Ah, Histo- the grass yeah 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 the clay somewhere yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's... the historic uh, person here they say we have five layers in mm-hmm. uh, in our country uh, so I made five layers and then the glass. Great, great idea. Especially interesting when you explain uh, the, yeah. the uh, behind the each yeah. object have some idea yeah. why it is. Yeah. So in the the back part here is again the the, the ash uh, glaze. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is very beautiful for tea storage. Those are tea, tea, uh, tea yeah. too. Yeah. I like the green ones very much. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, the ash. Uh, so bowls is a little bit uh, similar Japanese uh, cups, but they have their own feeling. <laughs> Those are not, not so very na- uh, easy to sell, those colors, but I like it so much. The natural people want uh, uh, to buy when there's blue in. Ah. Always blue. <laughs> but those natural colors I like so much. Yeah, because they just. Uh, ah, there's blue, so you want something yeah, which is. Uh... But for, for everyone, uh, uh, when there's blue in, mm-hmm. it goes so much easier. But I like so much. Uh, this, and also the Timoko, oh, mm-hmm. those ones. Oh, beautiful, great, the, this is very beautiful. How the Timoko uh, breaks in, in two colors, uh-huh. uh, in, the, in the, yeah, it's on the sharp edges, yeah, on the sharp yeah, edges, it, it changes the color. I have yeah, such it's... a nice Timoko made, and, yeah. It's also your own glaze, yeah, yeah. Timoko? Yeah. Oh, this glaze is really beautiful. It's, yeah, yeah, that's the... We call it uh, bull, bull blood, no? It's, uh, we call it yeah, uh, blood of the bull uh, or something. Ox blood. Ox blood. Ox blood. Ox blood. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Copper, copper red. Uh-huh. Ox blood. Yeah. And it's the ash. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful. And then squared, squared again. See. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Wow. Like your tiny <laughs> pots. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, want yeah. to buy. <laughs> Also here the the tamoko I like so much, but it's not easy to sell. It's you can sell it to potters, <laughs> people who understood ceramics. Yeah. yeah, they buy it immediately. A lot yeah. of different objects. Now the the ash glaze I like so much. The, so this is not a Chinese uh, uh, size. Size, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but for for uh, for the Netherlands uh, uh, we like big. Uh, if you drink tea, we we like to yeah, drink yeah, yeah, yeah. much. European but the ash style. glaze, how it crackles and uh, yeah, together, uh, little, when it comes together, the, the, uh, I like it. A little bit like a bottle glass <laughs> in some and places. Here with the iron under. I like so much the natural, uh, but th- this is uh, bad for selling uh, in the Netherlands. <laughs> People don't understand that. Yeah. Well, this is uh, my size. <laughs> oh yeah. This is a good. I like your spiral. It's like your mark. Yeah, yeah your mark. It's just a little bit of porcelain uh-huh. I put on on top. Yeah. We are in very special place. In I'm the be proud to be guest of uh, artist 
which I was really impressed about your experience uh, in China, especially, and your pottery experience. Can you please introduce yourself and tell about your story? How did you begin your so strong connection with your pottery? Mm. I think that's about 40 years ago mm -hmm. that I was for the first time on a potter's wheel and it was love at first sight. Mm -hmm. So when I had the, uh, the clay in my hands and I was sitting on the wheel, I had a feeling uh, this is where my hands are made for. Mm -hmm. So I never stopped. So just from the, it was the love from the first yes. uh, touch. Yes, I got, uh -huh. I think so, 13 lessons uh -huh. from a potter, uh, a woman from London mm -hmm. and she had a very nice way of uh, touching the clay. The feeling that I had was, uh, yeah, uh, this, is, this is made for me, the wheel mm -hmm. and, and the clay. And uh, I started and made mm -hmm. my, uh, my living with it. Mm -hmm. And the first uh, 13 years, I only made tableware. Uh -huh. So big production, I, I became a production potter and I had a feeling that tableware was the only thing I wanted to make. Mm -hmm. ah, so you just don't uh, think about anything else? You just no, just... no. And it was as if it was in my flag, in, uh, mm -hmm. on my cards, everywhere, uh, tableware was for me the highest level. Mm -hmm. And then it was about, did I knew you already? or? Some time before, it was 1995, <laughs> that the idea came, why do I make tableware? Mm -hmm. Is it because I love it so much mm -hmm. or am I not able uh -huh. to do something else? So it was a challenge for you to do something that was else? A, that yeah. was a big voice in my head and it triggered me to find out what you can do else with clay if you don't make tableware. So it was like I lived in a, a garden, like a five, six, seven years old child mm -hmm. playing around in the garden and there was an edge. Square... Uh, yeah, place. it was a safe place uh -huh. to make tableware. I looked for the hole <laughs> in, the, uh, in the garden to go out mm -hmm. and then I found the hole but outside the world was so wide, <laughs> you could do everything with clay. And that was too much for me. <laughs> so then I uh, created a shape. I have to, uh, to show you on a, a picture spot. later. Uh, uh, no, oh, that, no, that was already done. Mm -hmm. This is a big one. I started to make shapes mm -hmm. on a, a point. So. Mm -hmm. They end in a Goals. point, a conical, Sorry. conical Goals. form mm -hmm. and it's closed on top, mm -hmm. so you cannot put flowers in. Uh, if you place it upside down, uh -huh. it rolls away, uh -huh. you can do nothing with it. Mm -hmm. And that was the start, so uh, I found a way to, uh, to go out the idea of uh, making tableware, useful mm -hmm. things, and I made something very unuseful. But this was my guide, this, this form. Uh -huh. So I did many things. I made uh, spinners uh -huh. with this and you couldn't use. Yes. And don't ask me if I like it. Uh, I what I, what <laughs> I, uh, the idea was I had to do it uh -huh. to, uh, to find out if I could do something else and, and not making tableware, if mm -hmm. I should like it. So it transformed and uh, it transformed later in mm -hmm. two legs, woman with two legs. Mm -hmm. And uh, by cutting away the, the bottom part, it could stand. So this is human size. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, so it's a big, yeah, big object. Yeah, mm. yeah, a little bit uh, smaller woman no, than big, you. Uh, so this, this, <laughs> si this <laughs> size. <laughs> so. And Later also there came a period and I made them much smaller. But so this form mm -hmm. was my guide away from uh, uh, the tableware. Mm -hmm. But everything I found in this uh, way of throwing on the wheel, it came back in my tableware. <laughs> so this is a part you see in, uh, in the tableware. The, uh, 
uh, yeah, here in this woman you also see it, uh, uh, the shape. Like, it's also like a vessel. So it, it was a way to find out if I really liked tableware because of the use of it and, and, and because how I could make it on the wheel. The end of, uh, of the total uh, of this process was that uh, finally, yes, I like very much to make tableware. Mm -hmm. So always when I made cows, when I arrived on the farm, mm -hmm. I, I made my woman forms in Amsterdam and I started to make cows here on the farm. Mm -hmm. So I counted the places in the, uh, in the cow house mm -hmm. and I made for every place uh, uh, a cow statue. Mm -hmm. I had to do that, but in the same time, if you ask me when uh, there comes a little, a little earth crack here, mm -hmm. and I have to save, I, I cannot save everything, but I have to save two or three things. Uh -huh. The first is win, <laughs> I take with me, <laughs> and the second is, I think, a teacup. A teacup. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And not my cow statues or my woman figures. They mm -hmm. were just the... Uh, they were uh, things I had to pass by. It uh, was your the process. evolution. I had process. to make them. They belong to the, the evolution mm -hmm. to come to better teacups or teapots. Or and teapots come, comes together with the, 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 the cups? Or when did you... Uh, teapots are from the beginning, from uh, the beginning? yeah. My first exhibition, I mm -hmm. already told about it. First big uh, exhibition that really made sense mm -hmm. was a, a, a teapot exhibition mm -hmm. uh, organized by the tea company Vanelle. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the hundred uh, teapot makers and mm -hmm. uh, I have my first teapot. This, this teapot is one of the, uh, the first teapots for, for the real exhibition. I think I will have the, uh, my total life the feeling that I, uh, I'm trying to make things as good as this first one. But I don't have to copy this because I already made it, so it has to be another one uh, as good as this one. So this was before I knew anything about ceramics, but uh, nice is that my total handwriting is already in this pot. It's, it's deformed, it's, everything is wrong with it, and it's a perfect teapot. The lid but fits the lid exactly. But the lid fits uh, absolutely and not like a beginner's No support. hair can <laughs> between. Yes, and, and it was really uh, in, my, in my beginning, yes. You, you can have so much luck, and, and also that your total handwriting is already in it the rest of my life. I want to do things that, that are in this way. But uh, later on, uh, how did you uh, start with uh, China? It was uh, your absolutely next experience yeah. outside of the... Yeah, by, tea by making teapots. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the Netherlands, uh, uh, teapots says an, an, uh, are on, on another level than mm -hmm. teapots in China. Mm -hmm. So making teapots, uh, uh, I was invited. Uh, by the way, it came by Jeroen. Jeroen was, uh, is he in the, in yeah, the picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I was he the, was the one. Uh, yeah, I, I did one. It was uh, in the, in the uh, year of the pig. And yeah. uh, I thought that was big fun. Mm -hmm. And when the next time they asked, well, uh, a year later, well, it can, now we have another year, and mm -hmm. uh, can you make a cow? I said, no way, uh, I, <laughs> I had cows. <laughs> I, I had fun for one time, and my mind is not in that kind of uh, setting as yours is. So I thought, who to ask, who better to ask than uh, Tineke? And Tineke said, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, so I, I've been I've been extremely envious ever <laughs> since. <laughs> <laughs> so by, by Jeroen, I came in uh, China with my uh, yeah. uh, Shanghai. with also with the pig teapot, the happy the year of the happy pig, mm -hmm. I was in, and then the next year was the year of the the mouse or the rat, mm -hmm. and I was invited to come with my teapots to China. Mm -hmm. This exhibition went on every year, mm -hmm. and the organizer asked me uh, to come to Doha. Mm -hmm. 
he had an, a project in Doha, mm -hmm. and there I was uh, uh, just as part of a group uh, of eight uh, international. Uh, international artists from, from all over the world, mm -hmm. two from Europe, and I was one. And lucky me, uh, I was asked to, uh, to do the speech, mm -hmm. uh, and so I uh, uh, provided, voorbereiden. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I made a speech of uh, 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 a quarter of an hour I could mm -hmm. do in, uh, for the opening in uh, Doha. Mm -hmm. It was much too long. I did not know <laughs> you have to, uh, in a speech, just uh, uh, call yeah. all the people by name. But yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't really talk about ceramics. <laughs> I was there and there was a wheel. They made porcelain. I had nothing with porcelain. Mm -hmm. But I went there because I was invited and I know it's mm, you, you do not get this chance every day, so go. Oh, they make porcelain, well, uh, So it perhaps. was your first touch with porcelain before you only worked uh, yes, with clay? I yeah. worked with porcelain, but mm -hmm. I was not uh -huh. in love uh -huh. with porcelain. I had nothing with it. I worked with Limoges porcelain and it was... It was difficult material, yes. often cracks. Yeah. Uh, it was <laughs> just similar to clay for yeah. me, f uh, normal clay, and I didn't have the real porcelain feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also read in the book that uh, the porcelain from Dehua was uh, terrible on the wheel. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm going to make some hand f uh, forming. I make a salt uh, 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 carrier mm -hmm. piece from the table for salt. and. When I arrived and I had the Dehua de porcelain in my hand and I saw a wheel, I knew this material, my hands are made for it. Mm -hmm. It was for me, I really had the feeling, just give me a, a, a hump of butter mm -hmm. and I make a teapot out of it. So okay. this material in Dehua, it was like cu coming home. Oh, so good. I was sitting on the wheel and was just making teapots magic. and magic. Yeah, yeah the material was really magic if you have enough skills mm -hmm. you can be able to make fabulous wonderful things out of it mm -hmm. but you need the skills and that was exactly what i was trained to yeah. so the material was just telling oh you are the one if you don't make a teapot out of me who else <laughs> yeah, so great. I was making teapots and then uh, the people there, they saw how I made the teapots uh, in my way and they uh, also saw the project I did in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. my first 100 teapots, they saw a uh, movie about it and, uh, and they thought, well, mm -hmm. if we invite her to make an exhibition of 100 mm -hmm. teapots in mm -hmm. Shanghai, we can open our new uh, uh, a gallery center uh -huh. in Shanghai uh -huh. with an amazing exhibition mm -hmm. and then teapot makers from uh, other parts of China will come to the opening. Mm -hmm. So so I uh, I went uh, home and four months later I got a e oh, an email uh, with the question well you have to uh, arrive in three weeks and that was complete <laughs> out of the... Uh, Your plans. <laughs> yeah, and also out of the plans we had spoken about. But uh, I knew, yeah, yeah, you say yes and you do it. And then uh, that's, this is my chance. And I had the feeling to make 100 teapots of this material in Dehua, with the Dehua material, I would crawl <laughs> on my bar knees <laughs> to China to do this, mm -hmm. because it was, uh, uh, yeah, this was crazy mm -hmm. to do. So I went to China and uh, mm -hmm. I worked uh, five weeks. Mm -hmm. There was no one to translate, mostly there was no one you who just, spoke uh, English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just with the local people working mm -hmm. between the, uh, the old uh, long uh, wood firing uh -huh. Kill, kilns yeah. in the hill, in the hills. I wrote articles about it and I made uh, teapots and I was completely from the first time that I uh, had this material in my hand, I was complete in love. When I arrived back from the first time mm -hmm. that I was in uh, Doha 
and uh, had this material in my hand. I came back with a, a few cups mm -hmm. I made there and I traveled to uh, Leeuwarden, the mm -hmm. gallery where mm -hmm. Jeroen also had a porcelain exhibition mm -hmm. in the gallery. Mm -hmm. There was porcelain from, I think, 20 people in the mm -hmm. gallery. Mm -hmm. And I went there mm -hmm. in my car. The cup was behind me, uh, mm -hmm. was beside me. Mm -hmm. And I was, I had a microphone in my car mm -hmm. and I was in the uh, microphone talking, I still have it mm -hmm. uh, on the tape, as a teenage girl, mm -hmm. complete in love for that porcelain. Great. Yeah, it yeah. was uh, crazy. Mm -hmm. So I arrived in uh, Leeuwarden mm -hmm. and I went in mm -hmm. and the man, uh, I looked around mm -hmm. and the man said, the, the owner said, what brings you here? Mm -hmm. Because I was looking at all the porcelain mm -hmm. and I said, I want to know if the porcelain of De Roy, the mm -hmm. Blanc de Chine mm -hmm. from De Roy, really is the most beautiful girl in the classroom. <laughs> Great. And he said, do you have something in your, uh, did you bring something mm -hmm. of that porcelain? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, I have a cup. And I went to the car, took the cup, mm -hmm. I put it on the table and he was looking and he said yes this is beautiful <laughs> and nothing else <laughs> so i knew the porcelain from the roi was the most beautiful girl in the classroom <laughs> <laughs> great story and uh, what is your uh, potential plans because of the corona you also as a all of the artists stuck at home it also brings uh, for some people a lot of uh, new ideas or plans and uh, how, how was your time during this uh, difficult period? Yeah, that's a but good question yeah. and I really have an answer on it. Yeah. First I was uh, uh, busy for an exhibition with another uh, 100 teapots mm -hmm. because I uh, came back just before the corona. Mm -hmm. I came back with uh, 100 teapots made in China and mm -hmm. I had the feeling I have to do this once more and then in the techniques of Delft. Mm -hmm. So I asked in the factory to uh, if they w uh, agree that uh, I should make 100 teapots in their style with mm -hmm. their material and with their help. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were uh, uh, very enthusiastic. Mm -hmm and I could use everything in the factory to mm -hmm. make the teapot. So we made a, a, a very nice exhibition of 100 oh. teapots in the sty style of Delft. But the other thing well, I did... In your own style. Yeah, in the... Yeah, in my own style, <laughs> but <laughs> with the material of Delft. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, the, I yeah. transformed the... Your style pots. inspired by Delft. Yeah, yeah you, I used yeah. The, uh, the pots from Delft. Uh, yeah, you, you really right. made Thank you for interrupting. out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it, uh, it's always an exchange, what I want to do. Uh, yeah. uh, I like to do exchanges also with other artists uh, sometimes. Not, mm -hmm. not always, but... Uh, it, it, it gives uh, unexpected uh, yeah, yeah. new uh, combinations. You receive completely new pro pro products which yeah. you never... You can't think about that before yeah. you, you yeah. start yeah. into You shouldn't even yeah. try to that's, think about that's, that. That's, <laughs> that's nice to tell uh, also when I went the, the first time to Jing the Zen to do mm. also a 100 teapot uh, project. Uh, I was invited for that uh, mm. just before the corona started. I was in the aeroplane, I had, uh, or in the plane, and I had three teapots mm -hmm. made at home in the blue-white style exhibit in, mm -hmm. uh, in Jing the Zen. Mm -hmm. And I already knew, I had ideas about what I wanted to make in Jing the Zen. Mm -hmm. And in the plane, the idea came, why do you go to China? Mm -hmm. If you already know what you are going to do, you, you made also, uh, already a few teapots in that style at home, mm -hmm. stay at home and do it at home. Mm -hmm. Because why, why do it in China? You have a very nice atelier here, mm -hmm. with everything, why go to China? So I realized if I go to China, I have to do things I only can do in China. Mm -hmm. And before I went in the plane, I knew in China they are working in Jing the Zen with molds mm -hmm. and I said I never work with molds I will not work with molds 
I w- uh, want to work on the wheel. And the other thing was, I knew in China they paint on pots. And I thought, I never go <laughs> for paint. painting. I'm not a painter, I will not mm. do that. Mm-hmm. So the two things important in Jing the Zen and also important in Delft, and I was uh, sent there by Delft, the two things I said, no, I will not do that. <laughs> So the question uh, that yeah. came in my head was, uh, why, why do you go there? Mm-hmm. So in the plane, I changed completely uh, uh, my mind. Mm-hmm. And when I came out in Jing De Zen, I was looking for pieces came in, uh, that came from the mold. So mm-hmm. I looked everywhere and uh, collected uh, soft mm-hmm. vessels because I wanted to change the objects. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not paint on it, what everyone is doing. Uh, You have a vessel and you paint on it and then that's the exchange. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to change the the first shape, the the shape that came from the mold. Mm -hmm. So I needed soft vessels. So the people in China found me crazy (laughs) because I was feeling in all the molds, is it soft enough? And they didn't understand uh, and they brought brought me to uh, 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 to the place where the, the finished pots from the molds mm-hmm. were, mm-hmm. that normally were, were bought by the artists. Mm-hmm. But this, uh, and then finally I uh, succeeded in uh, making clear that I really wanted the soft pots. I showed them a few pictures mm-hmm. of teapots and then they knew oh, she, she knows what she's doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the people in the, in the area where the, uh, the pots in the molds were made, they all run behind me mm-hmm. with soft pots <laughs> to the taxi. Because <laughs> everyone wanted to give me soft pots. It was, uh, it was amazing, it was so nice. And then everyone in the taxi, I asked to, uh, to carry a soft pot on the <laughs> knees <Don't carry. laughs> and keep it uh, uh, as good as possible, three quarters of an hour. <laughs> to the uh, 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 to the place where I worked between the rice fields mm-hmm. and I transformed the, uh, the the vessel shapes into teapots I cut off pieces and uh, uh, put my fingers in and uh, uh, made teapots out of it so the exchange was really um, important mm-hmm. in uh, in this and and I like to combine uh, things on the wheel. Mm-hmm. So I worked with pieces from the molds, but I put them on the wheel and on top of the, uh, the, uh, the powering clay, mm-hmm. I uh, made new parts on the wheel uh, and connected it as one uh, new uh, piece. And that is, that is something that is technically almost impossible. Yeah, because yeah. the shrinking almost impossible. Yeah, the shrinking is very different, and Told, everything is different. Yeah, and the if, direction, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and if you ask me how do you do it, yeah. then I only can say uh, you do uh, <laughs> fifty years production throwing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes that your technique yeah. is so controlled and uh, uh, so up to the point mm-hmm. that uh, yeah. What do you can recommend to the potters, to the beginners, how to, uh, maybe not how to be an artist, but how to be creative and how to not stuck in the coping and coping and what, what is your way or maybe philosophy behind your art? For me, uh, in, in, in my career, it started by uh, at first uh, being good on the wheel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Learning. Yeah. Learning. I always say to, to, my, to my students, uh, if they ask, ah, how, how do I uh, start a successful uh, yeah. pottery and uh, really uh, get money uh, with it? Then I say there are two things. It's uh, uh, American, uh, uh, I don't know from who I stole this uh, uh, sentence, but uh, it's be good Mm -hmm. and tell it (laughs) and those two have to be together it's not only be good without telling it and it's also not telling it without being good good. so be good and tell it perfect yeah 
I think it's great. Thank you very much for the uh, interview <laughs> and uh, I really love to come here someday again. <laughs> And uh, yeah, also I will leave uh, the links uh, for your website or communication uh, so you can find uh, the artworks and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you yeah. very much for uh, interview again and uh, thank you everyone for inviting me. <laughs> and so, yeah, thank you yeah, for yeah. being so interested in... Yeah, uh, I'm really interested, it's my passion, yeah. ceramics is passion. Thank you very much.